I'm so excited to be here today to talk about, hopefully, give you some ideas about how to be a more effective leader and, equally important, a happy and fulfilled leader. And we're all leaders in one way or the other, whether we're leading our organizations, our communities, our families, or just getting ourselves out of bed every morning and leading our lives. What I do is I help people that are stuck, stuck in the proverbial alligator pit. What is an alligator pit? An alligator pit is when you have a list of to-dos this long and they're all falling through the cracks and you don't know what to do about it. An alligator pit is when you have this great new project you're working on and you can't get buy-in from your people. An alligator pit is when you expected your, your income to slowly go up every year and it's been flat for three years. That's an alligator pit. Anybody have an alligator pit they're in right, right now? Well, that's, that's not surprising because we have so many personalities and expectations and responsibilities snapping at us all the time that it's really hard not to just get overwhelmed. So let's try to get out of those alligator pits. Let me tell you about Chris. When I was brought in to work with Chris, she had just gotten a promotion at a medium-sized nonprofit. Now she was having to go out to events and she was having to schmooze and network with, with potential members and with potential uh, sponsors. And she thought, oh, no big deal. This will be easy. It's fun going to events. But this was different. She usually had to go by herself. She usually didn't know anybody. And now she had the agenda. So she would be driving to these events, holding on to the, the steering wheel with all her might, with her knuckles getting white, and she was thinking of any excuse, any excuse not to go. Did I leave the oven on? Did I let the dog out? If she actually got to the event, once she got there, she, her, her stomach would be all in tight, 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 you know, all tight. She'd be almost trembling. And then she would walk in, and she would be just standing there. She, nobody would talk to her. She would just be standing there. And so she'd end up hiding in the corner or trying to blend in with a wallpaper. Chris was in an alligator pit. And it was completely understandable because her, her thought was so negative. Networking is awful. And the way our, our mind is, is wired, we have a thought, which leads to an emotion, which me, leads to an action. Networking is awful. I'm miserable. I'm going to go hide behind the potted plant. <laughs> she realized that she needed to change that thought so her emotion would be more like networking is fun. So her action would be talking to people, making appointments, and actually doing her job. So how do you change that core thought? Well, one way is by finding your value in the situation. Chris thought about it. She said, well, my value is that I know all the resources in town, and I can help businesses succeed. So she realized that if she talked one-on-one -on -one with people at these networking events, she could give them some great advice to be more successful. And if they needed some more help, she could bring them into the organization, and she could make an appointment, and she could tell them more about the organization's services. So now, new thought, helping people. A second way that she could change that core thought was by finding strengths in past circumstances. So Chris said that she had been at this great St. Patrick's Day party the year before where there was all these funny centerpieces on the table. She was making jokes about them. She had the whole table in stitches, and she made two really important contacts that night. So what was her strength? Her sense of humor. So we came up with two or three great stories for her to tell, to kind of approach people and break the ice, and then suddenly she opened up. She started telling me that she started enjoying going to events, that she was making friends, that they were giving her referrals, that they were making appointments, that she was getting business. And her, her boss was thrilled that she was now getting really top-notch members and top-notch sponsors, and he even gave her a raise. So, Chris got out of her alligator pit. How can you get out of your alligator pit today? How can you take that thought and raise it up so that you energize 
your emotions, and you energize your actions, all sorts of opportunities open up, and you can honestly say, see you later, alligator. <laughs>